Good evening everyone and welcome to Compline on this Tuesday evening. Let's have a time of quiet as we relax into our Father's arms this evening. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God and Spirit, and use you the three, from the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O Jesu, my King. O Jesu, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrows that fly by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin's shadow lie down with me. O God of life this night, O oh, darken not to me thy light. O oh, God of life this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. O oh, God of life this night. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the um, reading that we have for tonight, while Teddy has a licky bath, is from Exodus 13 verse 21. <clears throat> the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light. <laughs> well they do say cleanliness is next to godliness. <clears throat> when Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt slavery was all that they understood. They didn't know the land, the challenges ahead, or even how to defend themselves. So God gave them pillars of cloud and a fire as visual reminders of his presence, protection and guidance. When God leads you into areas that you're not acquainted with, he gives you pillars of provision as well. They may be Bible verses, songs or even godly friends who Turn up whenever you need a reminder that you are not alone. When you receive those pillars, praise God. He is assuring, he is assuring you of his presence and guiding, <coughs> excuse me, and protecting every step of your journey. Isaiah 42 verse 16 says, I will guide them on paths they have not known. I will turn darkness into light in front of them and rough places into level grounds. I will not forsake them. And a prayer as we move into a time of quiet. I will praise you for lighting my way and protecting me. Thank you for the powerful reminders that you are always with me. Amen.
Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Be it on mine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesu, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesu, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesu, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me and Teddy Bear, mostly, this evening. Please do take care of yourselves and those around you. Let's continue to pray for a world that is broken, and especially those who are in places of war, especially the Ukraine today. Good night and God bless you.